Hey everyone and welcome back. We got another hairstyle, a quick twist out on my daughter's hair. This is Peanut and she has thick curly cool strands, full and voluminous. And uh, I wanna show you guys how I got this beautiful braid out. I'm going to explain my technique and how I actually like to use this technique as the perfect base for a long-term protective style. So her hair is actually damp right now. I did wash and condition her hair so it's prepped and ready to go, all right? I'm gonna add my first product of choice and that's a leave-in conditioner. I want to add a great base and first layer and this is the Trey Lux Untie the Knot Leave-In Conditioner. I don't know if you heard about it, but ah, it's creamy, all right? It's creamy, it's moisturizing, it's packed with natural and wholesome ingredients perfect for your hair strands i'm pretty generous when it comes to adding the leave-in conditioner all right i want her curls to sop it up and i want to make sure every last strand has product on it so i'm applying a lot okay a lot of it making sure to really work at the ends and spread it through her hair strands so let's talk a little bit more about that nourishing leave-in conditioner okay this one conditioner has so many benefits all right you can use it as a deep conditioner a leave-in conditioner a detangler you can use it as a styler which i'm going to do today this is my one-stop shop to give me everything i need and give me the perfect foundation for amazing curls okay amazing curl definition too i love that the product contains coconut oil, avocado oil, aloe vera juice. It also contains some amino acids. It also contains coconut milk, squalene, slippery elm for extra slip, all right? It also has keratin amino acids and rice extract. This is gonna keep the strands strong, okay? We don't want the hair to be overly mushy and moisturized. We wanna keep that elasticity, keep that curl flexibility, to ensure that her hair is not snapping and breaking as I am manipulating it, and to ensure her hair stays moisturized over the course of a couple of days. To start off these braids, I am just finger parting, all right? I will go in with the comb here and there, but I pretty much just use my fingers and get a, I would say a medium size section. Using medium size sections ensures that her hair gets some definition, um, but also it's not taking that long, okay? <laughs> if I did small braids, it would take too long. I really like when her hair is very fluffy and big and voluminous. So the bigger the section, the bigger the curls. Now I have my section right here. I'm applying some product and I'm going to smooth that leave-in conditioner in. If I need more, on the ends or anything, I will apply it. The easiest way to tell if I have enough product is how the hair feels. If I feel like the strands are coated well and each strand has enough product on it, then it's perfect. It's all about the touch. And now I'm just breaking that section in half. I'm going to spray that section down with some warm water that my son just brought to me. Thank you, Teddy. <laughs> I'm going to finger detangle slightly and smooth it in. Then I'm going to go in with my detangling tool. I love using this to detangle her hair. Like I said, her strands are very coarse and thick. So I need something that's going to glide and smooth through her hair easily and quickly. Once that is done, I'm going to braid the section up. My son's being crazy. Don't mind him in the background. <laughs> Um, and because I detangled that section very well, it's taken no time to braid up the section. When I get to about an inch to two inches, I will just do a two strand twist and then just coil her ends. And to coil the ends, you just want to comb it out, maybe spray a little more water and add a little more product and just twirl it around your fingers. That's it. I'm spraying this section down with some warm water, smoothing that conditioner in. As I am doing this, I am finger detangling as well, going in with a detangling tool to further the tangle that section and i'm taking my time i'm being very gentle she's playing her game so she's enjoying herself you can see look at that that leave-in conditioner is doing so much it's doing its job all right curls are looking juicy all right once that is done i am then going to braid that section i guess it would be called plaiting i don't know braid plait it's the same thing to me ain't no different so the reason why i really love doing this technique First off, this is a great hairstyle to do if you really want to get stretch out of your natural hair, okay, and not get too much shrinkage. Also, because of the size of her braid, she's going to get that volume. If you want less volume, more definition, you definitely can do smaller braids 
like I said, I like the fluffy look on her hair. Also, this is my preferred method when it comes to stretching my hair. I can stretch my hair with a blow dryer, but using that often and too frequently for me personally is just a lot, all right? I also have thick, coarse strands and it's tiring to <laughs> blow out my hair each and every time when I want to get some stretch to my hairstyle. So installing braids before actually doing the hairstyle I want is perfect, okay? This is one way I love stretching my hair, okay? So this is my preferred method when it comes to stretching my hair during wash day. My hair's already wet, it's detangled, I can easily glide product through it, braid it up, and then I'll probably wear a braid out maybe for a day or two, and then I will go in with my actual twist out. I'll go in maybe with another braid out, maybe a bantu knot out, maybe a flexi rod set, okay? This is a two-in-one hairstyle. I can do so many things with it. And like I said, the stretch, okay? I have super kinky 4C, 4B hair, so I like to get as much stretch as possible, personally, okay? I want my hair to look long, or as long as it possibly can. <laughs> Drop down below some methods you like to do to stretch your hair out. I would love, love to know. Closer to the end I think this is my second to last section but it's my last section to you guys because I'm not going to show the actual last section whatever it doesn't matter <laughs> I'm just brushing the section making sure it's detangled and then braiding that section up okay peanuts is done I have all the braids installed not too sure how many but you can count yourself okay at least 12 maybe 15 braids all over and her hair is nice and shiny it's very soft her ends look really good even though she needs a trim but thanks to that leave-in all right the leave-in does its job all right this is the next day all right bright and early and and now i'm just removing those braids now i'm just going to do this haphazardly i do not care like i said i like the volume and her hairstyle so i am not being gentle okay i'm trying to get these braids out as quick as possible you can see the definition that just this leave-in gives. Wow, this leave-in is boom, all right? It's boom, diggity, all right? This leave-in gives some hold. It gives that softness, moisturized curls. As you can see, I can easily separate her section, all right? If your hair is well moisturized, your hair is not going to be sticking together. It's going to easily separate by itself. So I'm just pulling that section down, pulling it taut, and then seeing where the section wants to separate and just pulling that section and embracing that frizz, all right? Embracing the frizz and the volume. All right, the definition goes crazy, all right? Look at that. I hear it's set and it looks beautiful, okay? <laughs>
separating, I'm going to fluff and pick her hair and give her a little bit more volume. Um, I'm actually going to go in and do her edges. I don't really show this on camera, but um, sometimes I like to smooth her edges down, you know, just to finish off the look if I feel like it, all right? Nothing too hard at all. And this bird out is complete. You see the volume, you see how full her hair is and how fluffy it is and it's bouncy. It smells good too, delicioso, all right? It's dark and vibrant in color, super healthy, luscious curls. I am in love with this braid out, all right? I love this technique, like I said, if I want to get a two-in-one hairstyle, and if I want to go in with a protective style, now her hair is perfectly stretched. Please give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful, if you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out all my other videos. I have a ton more for you guys to watch, all right? Check them out. Make sure you are subscribed, and I'll see you all in the next one.